Guys, one of our favorites is back. Often co guest co-hosts as well, don't you know? Lord Conlon is in the building. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Look at us with our leggings and sweaters. You love it. Same vibe. You guys look, both look very cute. Uh, Lauren Interviews, the podcast, is available via Magic Shack Media. Uh, she interviews people in her lovely, getting them to say all manner of things ways. And if you don't listen to it, I'm going to come to your house and punch you in the face. How about that? Oh, that's so nice. And mm -hmm. no pressure to you guys, but last time I brought my daughter to, quote, unquote, a work thing with me, it was Tribeca Film Festival, and they gave her so much candy, and she actually brought it up, and she goes, remember how fun that was? And I said, yeah. yeah. And candy. she goes, well, what do they have? I was like, uh, they have baby dolls that have no heads, or like, I don't know. They have wait, wait, wait. empty beer bottles. Um, <laughs> candy, but I don't know how old it is. It's gum. Gum, eat, gum I don't trust the, the candy millennium. here. I think it's going to get her high, so I don't mm. trust That's it. True. Yeah, so. We also have cookies that I promise oh. are not made with the weed. Oh, okay. Oh. Maybe they, they have cookies, love. There you go. She just shrugged. Okay, cool. Very good. Oatmeal, <laughs> chocolate, what have you. Oh. Um, I believe. Um, speaking of your podcast, who did you just have on recently that I was like, oh my God, that is such a get? Well, I've, <laughs> I'm, I'm still dealing with this drama. Oh, no. um, it's actually, it's, it's been... Like, it's funny, I guess, but it's almost not funny because like I'm just... Already. So it's obviously you saw the Joe Exotic stuff, and I even saw someone when oh, you yes, yes, when yes. you posted. They're like, oh, that girl knows the Tiger people. Well, let's get it straight. I don't know them. I stumbled upon... Not biblically. No, I mean, it's like... So basically, I... You know, you know, you know, you have to get sources somewhere. And I had this guy on Instagram. Like, he reached out to me a couple times. And you know when messages are buried, you just sure. don't see them. So... I didn't see it for like three weeks. Finally, I see it. He's got like 16,000 followers. They appear to be fake as, you know, you know, you can just tell kind sure. of like when like you get your, no not that you're a nobody. I don't want to be rude about it, but it's like you, how do you have 2000 likes on this photo and you don't have, you know what? It's just yes. weird. Yeah. Yes. So, so I, you know, I take it with a grain of salt, but we do have people in common. He says, you know, I do some publicity for this person. I'm like, oh, I know that person, whatever. And he's like, let me get your number we, if, you know, you ever want to talk. And I said, sure, whatever. So he starts texting me saying, I can get you an exclusive with Joe Exotic. And now I've, I'm kind of like, okay, that's not, that's not really, I don't care. I guess at this point, I'm kind of mm -hmm. like, I really, I'm like, whatever. Sure. At some point I would love to interview him from prison if that's, that's capable or doable, whatever. So a week later, Carol Baskin comes out, um, or it comes out in the news that she revealed on a show, a morning show in 2021, that the FBI gave her this Homeland Security document saying Don Lewis is alive. She says this on a show. And everybody oh, just, I think I saw that. yeah, everyone ignored it for like a year. And then somehow it surfaced on TikTok and everybody was freaking out. Like, like, girl, if he's alive, give back the $6 million in life insurance. You need to da da da. Oh yeah. So, so when he, he just happened to hit me up that week and I said, you know what? I said, fine. Why don't you get me a clip from Joe Exotic in prison reacting to Carol? Yeah. Carol's saying her husband is alive or whatever. And he says, okay, great. But like, if you need it now, it could take like weeks because of the way the prison system works, whatever. I can't get you approved. But since I'm his rep, I can talk to him if you want to email me questions. So I'm like, all right, cool. No problem. So I don't know if you heard this or saw me post on Instagram. I literally posted the part where he says, hey, there's a journalist, Lauren Conlon. She wants me to ask you X, Y, Z. I made sure to post all of that. I tagged this guy in it. I, I sourced him everywhere. Mm -hmm. I kept the text messages where he literally is harassing me, saying, do you want Joe? Do you want Joe? I'm like, yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. So this comes out. TMZ picks it up. It gets a little bit bigger than I expected. So the next day I wake up. Sorry, I'm, this is like no, longer, but whatever. Is, yeah. So yeah, okay. So I wake up and I get a DM and a message on the post from Jeff and Lauren Lowe, who are Jeff or Joe's ex business partners that took over the park that Joe claims um, got him arrested uh -huh. and were working with the FBI. And this is why I don't get about the FBI. It's like, how do you trust some criminals over others? Yeah. Like that's why I I actually do believe that Joe needs a, a new trial because it's like, how do you trust? I don't know which criminal do you trust? Whatever. No kidding. So this kid sees this and he's like, I mean, you're not taking the interview. And I was like, well, of course I am. There's two sides to every story. <laughs> like, yeah. you idiot. Like, I don't know how else it, like, I also, I'm kind of like, are we done here? Why are you still bothering me? Like, it was kind of mm, like right. that where I'm like, I don't have time for this. So I'm moving on. All of a sudden I start, you know, he starts kind of laying it on, like kind of thick, like the PR guy. Hmm? Yeah. Where at this point, I'm very confused. Like, are you PR or are you an activist or are you someone? Because he had already he even posted himself interviewing Joe on his own account without my name, without anything, which fine. But like, you know, he still used it 
fine, whatever. So I'm like, all right, dude, you're kind of a waste of time right now. I'm like, how about this? How about I pay you a booking fee to get the fuck out of my face? Like literally this is, this is gone. This is ridiculous. Yeah. So then he starts completely harassing me. Then he goes, there is, I post the interview with, uh, Jeff Lowe and Lauren Lowe because they wanted to rebuttal. And like, you know, I'm like, I, and I kept it completely unedited. I just also Joe Exotic isn't your client, no right? Shit. Like he's, not, he's you, nothing. I mean, you can talk to anyone. I'm allowed to talk to anyone, and also like it's up to me <laughs> to decide how I feel about this whole situation, and and it's no one's business. So whatever. So I don't know what he's going off about. So I do this. He s creates like hundreds or has hundreds of these fake Instagram accounts. I'm looking at my Instagram blowing up like thirty notifications a minute he's sending me um he we the people we had in common they're hitting me up saying what's this guy talking about you stole his story and I'm like I don't I'm truly confused here so you know um after this whole thing went down I went on Fox on Saturday and I uh talked about this whole thing and oh and also I had emailed Carol Baskin to get her mm -hmm. her take on it and she sent me an email so I posted that on Instagram if you want to look at that and so I closed the loop on Fox and the host had said to me you know I don't I don't care that Joe Exotic got beat up in prison. He abused animals. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't abuse animals, but also eight on one is, oh, that's really great. I'm like, eight on one is, is pretty tough. Like, I don't agree with that, whatever. So then the kid comes out sending me emails that I did a hit piece on. And I'm like, what is going on? So finally, this guy. what's that? It's all this guy, right, pretending to be other people. Like, Well, yeah, I just don't know what his deal is. So I... I just lose my shit almost where I'm like, this is a distraction to me. I just don't need this. He's, he's spreading like weird rumors about me. He's just, he's a gross, icky person. And like, if you see him, you almost like feel bad where it's like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, you can't fucking talk to me like this. This is just not, is just I don't, insane. I don't get That's what I did. I guess right. I'm trying to figure this out. I just yeah. now feel like this person is not a, a PR. Oh, yeah. well, no. Uh, so an F O T K uh, friend of Tiger King. And that well, oh, 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 he's, oh my place? God, you guys, he's emailing me right now. Nice. Yes. Is he um, watching? Does he? I know don't know. I hope so. <laughs> I did give him a free subscription. Mm. You know my. Oh, I don't know what he's talking about. So anyway, and he doesn't represent anyone else. But the I don't know why he's still going. It's so strange. So this is what's weird. So I felt completely vindicated because um, number one. <laughs> Joe Exotic's account. So he's so first he starts commenting from Joe Exotic and saying mm. on everything as Joe saying this clout chasing bitch like like bad like this clout sorry this clout chasing bitch uh, is using my name to get famous like everyone else. Sorry, this is the best thing that's ever happened to you. And I'm looking at my podcast stats too, and I'm like, this is one of the least listened to episodes. <laughs> like not for nothing. Yeah. I'm kind of like sorry. Yeah. What? Also, like I'm on Fox almost every Saturday, so I also was like, hey, if you want to like if you want me to show you like my agreement with them, I can really assure you it has nothing to do with Joe Exotic. His name is literally not mentioned at all in like what I have going on. Right. So this whole thing, I feel, I honestly felt like, I mean, not to bring up the word gaslit, but I'm like, is someone fucking gaslighting me? That's Where I'm like, so if I show you this, like the text messages, it's the strangest thing. He literally says, I can get you an exclusive with Joe Exotic. Circle it. Hey, do you want Joe Exotic for your podcast? Circle it. What did I do? He got me Joe Exotic. I put it on the podcast. I don't know what else, whatever. So get this email from his power of his power of attorney joe exotics this morning and it said lauren thanks for sending me your correspondence with danny oh because i forgot the part when joe was going on and saying all this stuff i dm'd him and i go dude i'm two seconds from blocking you this has to stop this is unbelievable i said i literally got joe's name back in the media on fox news channel saying from my mouth i said he deserves a new trial i didn't have to say any of that this no, is up to me okay yeah. also up to me sign anything i sign say... nothing i said and yeah. oh he's telling me he goes, take down the audio, you can't use it. I'm like, you moron. I was like, I'll be sitting here waiting for my legal letter, you piece of shit. Like, sorry. Yeah. Um, no, facts are facts. That's so, what is. yeah, so, so then I get the DMs from Joe, and it's someone else, and it's saying, on behalf of Joe, I apologize. Um, Joe doesn't work like this. He wants you to know multiple people run this account, and we're going to handle the situation. Got That's me. not how we work. So then she writes, hey, this is Joe's power of attorney. Can you please forward me everything that you, you know, because I... I sent it to my lawyers and my, yeah. yeah, you know, whatever. So I was like, absolutely. Like that's, I made like a fake email yesterday and I was just like, I'm like, this is, I'm done. I was like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm so, ever yeah. in a similar pickle, just you're going to be up. my Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's literally fine. Cause I'm honestly like, I'm the nicest, but you know, I'm so nice. Yeah. But it's also like, cut the fucking shit, cut the shit. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Cut it out. Like, absolutely. so, so basically then this morning, 
and I felt very vindicated because she said, thanks for sending your correspondence with Danny. He's a new guy. Joe just met online a few days ago and offered to blow up his social wow. media, claimed he had over 300 contacts. Joe believed he would make a good publicist, so he gave him access to his accounts, but had no idea he would be this unprofessional and aggressive. His disrespect of you and your profession is inexcusable. I apologize Amazing. on Joe's behalf. Da, da, da. And then she said, which made me feel so good. She goes, thank you for helping us highlight Joe's case in the media and his fight for freedom. And literally, guys, as and I'm... That's all you've done. All I'm, as I'm sitting here, this kid is still texting me. As you see, I am his media and PR, and this whole thing is a shit Anymore. show. What are you talking about? You like, got a screenshot so from I, the lawyer and I did. I, well, I just don't... The thing is, like, do I or should I, like... like yeah, this is yeah. what I had to do. This is what, like, this is what he says yeah, to me. Like, it's, like, right there. I'm, I'm very confused. I'm like, oh, no. You're just giving him more air to breathe when you reply at this point. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, I just I said, like I'm, done. Just stop. I'm done. I'm yeah. done. So, uh, I mean, not for nothing, I've had people, like, because I, I have a big mouth in a way that, like, when you mess with me, I'm not gonna... Well, I'm happy to help you fuck him. Well, that's what I'm saying, fuck so... Him. No, no, it's okay, she's not listening. Um, So, no, it's... I. But I also, I do feel like I'm a Christian woman, and I, I don't feel good about doing stuff to people that, you know, but I'm like, the more this kid comes at me, I had told some of my friends about this, and it's not like, oh, go fuck this guy up. It's more like... Let's shut down his Instagram account and make sure he can never get back in. Let's do this. Let's do They're That's still hitting me up. And to do. It is a valid thing to do. If you're hurt, it's like, but I feel bad for him. He's a he's skinny gonna, loser. He's like he's doing it to you. He's I know. Do it yeah. To he is gonna do it to others. It's weird where it's like, who are you? You like you can't operate like this. Doesn't and then Instagram have like strict policies against this to begin. Oh, uh, well, here's the thing. You show a titty, it gets taken down. <laughs> you harass someone. They don't give a shit. She's you right. impersonate someone. They're like, it doesn't go against our standards. Sorry. She's right. More tits, less harassment. Yeah, the, it's. I will run in for something. It's so silly, and just I'm I'm just like I think the whole thing has just made me completely in shock. I actually this morning, because of everything I've been doing lately, I made a folder on my computer that's titled "If I Go Missing," and it has like literal I have three names where I said Jesus. "If I Go Missing." No, I'm not kidding. It's this kid is the top one where I said "If I Go Missing" or "If My Body Ends Up in the Ditch." It's either How this do I guy. I have one of these. No, Joe, it's crazy. So it's this Why guy. Do you have Joe on your. This is, might be someone. No, in because Joe loves me, even though she doesn't talk to me anymore. She so loves if me. She um, missing. Yeah. We might be missing together. Exactly. We're just on vacation. <laughs> Wait, no, it's that. It's that guy. It's I exposed this um, woman abuser on TikTok, and his. Um, yes, oh, I remember. Yeah, that. his lawyers came after me and said, "You got to take it down." I'm like, "Yeah, cool. I'm waiting for my letter. I have all the proof." So it's his people. Great. They'll kill me. And then the third one is like. You know, I do some work in politics sometimes, and I have these trolls in Brooklyn, like, calling my places of work, saying that I work for a bigoted, like, because he's a Republican. So, obviously, all Republicans are bigots, and they're all racist, and they're all whatever. So, it's those people. And I filed a police report on that one. So, my husband's sick of my shit. He literally is so sick of my shit. Yeah, I'm like, all right. It's not well, worth it I sometimes. Mean, you know, there's probably, he's looking at the security bills, but they're worth it. You need the cameras. You need all that stuff. Uh, uh, well, anyway. I'll tell you what, never a dull moment, though. What's new with you guys? Let's talk about you guys. No, are you kidding me? <laughs> so much more interesting than anything we're doing. No is it? Is it? Um, is it? Like, if I ever had any desire to be, like, an actual journalist, which I never have, mm -hmm. this would definitely keep me from doing any of it. It's Just the headache true. involved. Joe, I, that's what I've been going through this, like I, my mom and I were on the phone like late night Saturday and I, as soon as I get off the air, it's like I go and I'm sure you can relate to this cause you do this, but like I go on my DMs like, right. And I see right away, some girl is like some no name, <laughs> no picture, no followers. You have, your eyes are spaced so far apart. They're the ugliest eyes I've ever seen your eyebrow. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, Jealous. but I'm just like, you know what? And this is for me, this is like a regular thing nonstop. And I'm like, I'm not even famous. Why do I have to put up with this? Like, this is like yeah. so silly. And it's right. like, you, it's just pointless. Like, why do people do this? Like go out of their way and start it. Well, and it's easier sa said than done, obviously, but, you know, you, you, ca you can't look too much at that stuff. And I know that's very easy to say. I don't, not because I'm a great person or I have a backbone, I'm lazy, <laughs> and I don't care enough. But, um, yeah, I mean, God, when I was first on Fox News, I get death threats. And it, it's really? I found out where my uh, my uh, family lived a little bit, too. Shut up. Like, you remember Red Eye. Not yeah. exactly that controversial. But it's didn't it like was funny. Horrible. Red Eye was funny. Like it was yeah. supposed to be light and like yeah. yeah. But and then after a while, it also subsides. But like, uh, yeah, if you pay, it, it 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 gets exponentially bigger the more you focus on it, and especially if you read the rebuttals and stuff like that. Yeah. And even now, I'll 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 
fuck up and reply to something I shouldn't because I'm human, you know? I know, exactly. We're human. We can't help it. Sometimes, like, I see Sebastian Maniscalco, like, reply to trolls sometimes. And I'm like, oh, if he does it, everybody is at their breaking point some days, right? Like, yeah, so. And sometimes it's just fun. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if you know there are fucking Looney Tunes, but also stupid, Mm -hmm. sometimes it's fun. Mm -hmm. Feels good. Yeah, and it doesn't feel good to, like, I don't want to go after this kid. I, I never wanted to. I just was so put off by the whole thing. And it's like, it's not my intention. This kid is like, I mean, I, I guarantee he doesn't, like, he's like an uncut little prick to, like, sorry. Like, I mean, just disgusting. He sounds I, to me very incelish. What does that mean? Sorry. Incel I, are the, the guys that will um, be very violent, incel- either verbally uh, or uh, sometimes more than verbally online to women because they can't have S-E-X with them. Uh, I love how you spent, her headphones are on. We've and been they don't, And they don't have S-E-X, period, <laughs> and they think it's, the, it, the world's out to get them, specifically hot women. Yeah, okay. Hot women are okay. existing and they don't have any sex with them and they, uh, they are angry about that. And this guy sounds a little to me like that. That's why I'm just like, this is sad. I can't go any further. And you can apply the whole incel thing to everything. I mean, 99.9% of every suicide terrorist bomber believes enough of that Quran to know that he can't have sex or won't have sex because yeah. look at them. Yeah. And all of that angry guy, weird guy energy just goes into bombing someplace. Yeah, and I, I get that. And, and this whole thing, too, like, I, I had reached out to, he dropped this guy's name, and I saw that, like, this guy's cousin, if I say these names, it's like my friend Joe, his cousin Tony, like, you know, whatever. Mm. Tony's commenting on this kid's Instagram. So I hit up Tony. He doesn't owe me anything, but I was like, hey, this guy thinks it's okay to push around girls, and this is what he's saying to me. I don't, like, I'm good friends with Joe, and that's your cousin. I kind of don't think you should uh, associate here. And he said, I don't really know what's going on. And I was like, oh, well, I just told you. And you know what? For that, next time I see you, I'm going to slap you in the fucking face. Because that is so disrespectful. I showed you what's going on. I'm the girl. I'm friends with your cousin. Done. Unfollowed. Right. Slap in the face after. So I'm like, I'm not looking to make enemies here, but it's like, you react like that? Okay. Yeah. All right. You want to you wanna react like that? Fine. I am like the nicest part. Like, you guys know I am so nice. I don't go out of my way to be mean. I don't go out of my way to ruin anybody. I am the nicest interviewer. I mean, I will not. The things I could put out there, you guys have no idea what I could put out there. I could put out so much stuff, but I'm nice. And I don't get pleasure from saying this person's a drunk on the air or this person's whatever. I do not get pleasure from that. I still have issues with you calling me that. I was buzzed. <laughs> All right? I was not. There's a difference between pleasantly buzzed and full-on drunk. What's it like mm. being nice? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, in 20 years, am I going to, Is this, am I just going to be, like, so jaded that I'm not nice anymore because so much of this has happened to me? And that's the decision I have to make here. Do I want to keep doing this and having it weigh on me it's mentally? It's just that, like, now because of social media, you have people who call themselves journalists or call themselves PR mm-hmm. or whatever when they're not. Like, they don't yep. actually have the background, the cred like you do. Mm-hmm. And so it's – that's the issue is that you're then trying to help these people out really is what it is. Yeah. But then it comes back to bite you in the ass because they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what's – been happening i think is where i said there's this kid must have been in the game for like a minute because this whole thing is i don't know if he's in the game period i i think that this is his one and only client he, he god he, i hope so well, for I, everyone else's sake here like yeah like, i don't he's think doing this to me you're right he's gonna do he it just con them into thinking that he had these followers and that he does this and he does that and i'm sure the whole thing is a house of cards yeah and i i have been distraught like you know taking my kids to the movies They're like mommy get off the phone and i'm like no mommy's fucking ripping someone a new asshole like it's just not you yeah. know what i mean and like I'm like, I don't know. I just, well, but and a lot of it is good too because I mean, this guy's got to go, you know. I mean, like before he does this to other people. Yeah, I, we'll see. But um, but Instagram sucks, man. Again, I'm done. I'm just done. Focusing like, so much on these nipples. Come on, people, focus <laughs> on this. Wait, okay. If you were to rip someone a new asshole, mm. would that, that asshole need a bidet? Why is that a bad thing? It I mean, might be nice to have two. <laughs> oh, you know what? Just for that, when you give birth, yours is going to rip. Stop so it. that was a horrible I thing to say. You. Do you know how that happens to like literally eight out of ten women and now it's going to happen to you? So, I did not know that yeah. until very recently. Dude, why would you say that? Taint, I would knock really hard on everything. Taint, I'm done. I'm not having Taint it. becomes one whole linking the two together people isn't that, that is, only if like labor happens babies? really fast and then look like, how little you are you're done oh, you're I've done your labor a... is gonna be in a minute you're gonna be like whoop there it goes <laughs> yeah i've said that to her a million times that baby's yeah. gonna break her 
I was Rager. I was just gonna say I'm like a linebacker, so it's like I have like a very sturdy body. I was able to carry these kids I don't like think Fort you know Knox. What a like is. okay, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, I really yeah. don't. But but I've got also, some. Also, like my Joe. husband is larger, so yeah, he's a big man. Six two. Yeah, I might. That might he's, hurt with his genes. That baby's gonna be the size of you. I think so. Yeah. I think the baby is gonna be it's like a nine, crazy. nine, ten pound baby. Why are you doing this to me? Because you, you, you brought it up. You brought it up. <laughs> you brought well, it up. <laughs> um, what's the Boy Scout motto aside from staying away from the Scouts? But what's the Elder Scouts? But what the Boy Scouts? Are, be prepared. She's preparing you. She's prepared. preparing okay. you. You it's have to have true. all of the facts in front of you before that baby splits you open like a cashew. Did you read books no. when you were pregnant? No. no. Do yeah. I look like I did? No. no. I'm like, no. But I was going to say, you. if you did, you probably read, like, the cool ones. Are I mean, cool I d- like the ones that are actually prepare you. Like, maybe Jenny McCarthy wrote it as opposed to, like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. what's her face from, like, what's it to expect when you're expecting? Yeah. Like that, you know, I don't know. Well, Jenny McCarthy would have been all no vaccines for anybody. Remember oh, I mean. we made yeah. fun of her for that? <laughs> you remember? She was ahead and of the game. now she's, like, yeah, the she's most ahead. popular girl in the I'm surprised school. Gino has a gun after her as a guest. Mm. Or just gone after. Gone after, yeah. How's Gino? Huh? How's Gino? He's dead. <laughs> yeah, Actually, I don't know. I haven't heard from him today. It's possible. He could be dead. We don't know. Yeah. That's sad. That'll be too sad. I would some prayers to the Bisconti family, but they're all already They're all already dead. Are you guys being serious right now? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But we oh. forgot the laugh track part. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't no, have it's, parents, it's thing, like, his whatever. favorite aunt. Yeah, oh. They're all gone. They're all, all gone. That's yeah. too bad. Well, no, is it? Is me? I, I oh. never met them, oh. so I can't I just don't you. care. <laughs> I mean, that's my deal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of someone else I don't care about, but I like making fun of. Uh, good segue, I guess. I don't know. I have no idea what you're about to Kim say. Kim Kardashian. Mm. Okay. Um, she recently gave a lecture at Harvard <gasps> Business School and gets ripped online for it. Of course. I mean, literally, she could actually do anything, yeah, and right. she would get ripped online. Um like then, a baby agreed. coming out of a skinny girl. There you go. Uh, <laughs> then, snarf! Then, snarf! Snarf! Have it come out of your mouth! Oh, I did it! I did it! I swallowed! Uh, I swallowed! The net worth of Kim Kardashian is estimated to be $1.8 billion, while her company, Ugh. Skims, is estimated mm-hmm. to be That's worth what I'm angry about. $3.2 billion. Oh, yeah! It does seem like enough credit have a million. to be able to give a speech. Give me a million agreed. dollars, Kim. Um, but Kim know. Kardashian, 42, thanks Fox Business, traveled to the prestigious Harvard Business School alongside co-founder of Skims, Jens Greed, or Grede, <laughs> to discuss the enormous success of the company uh, ever since going to market in June of 2019. She uh, wrote on social media, I spoke at Harvard Business School yesterday for a class called HBS Moving Beyond DTC. Too many letters for me. The class's assignment DTC. was to learn about skims. So my partner, Jens, and I spoke about our marketing, our challenges, and our greatest wins. I'm so proud of skims. And the thought that it is a course being studied at Harvard is just crazy. Okay, here's where I think she got confused. (laughs) The entire course is not on your company. You had one class about it. I think that that's how her mind works. Okay. Thank you, Professor Len Schlesinger. That is the best last name for a professor, like, ever. (laughs) At Harvard Business School for having us. Hashtag bucket list dream. It's crazy, one user wrote. Harvard should be ashamed of themselves. Another said, are people nuts? Her walking into Harvard Business School is embarrassing. But another fan wrote on Twitter, congrats, Kim. I'm glad your business acumen is being taken seriously. The sky's the limit for you. You know, what I do think is kind of cool is the fact that she doesn't have a college degree. Mm -hmm. I read that somewhere. College is kind of a con. And she has this opportunity. What does DTC mean? Down to cuddle? Where did you see that? What does it say? Moving beyond DTC. That has to be like business letters. I mean, I know what it means. I was just testing you. Direct. Direct to consumer? Thank you. There you Uh, go. Yeah, you're good. (laughs) The worst part is I am an editor and entrepreneur. Uh, Now, I am sure Kim learned a lot um, from her co-founder of Skims being in, you know, mm. she's in these meetings for sure. She is learning a lot. She isn't just the face of the company as far as I understand. Also, I'm not sure if this is the same woman who's been on Shark Tank, but one of the co-founders of Skims 
Or no, I'm sorry, it's not Skim. Is it Skims or is it Good American? No, I, or Spanx. She was on. Spanx. Yeah, Sarah Bl Blakely or whatever yeah, her name is. Yeah, a, something. There is another one that works with one of the Kardashians. Wait, so is her, hers is just Spanx then, right? No, I actually own some of the Skims and they're amazing. I'm ashamed, but. I don't know, I tried on a pair, be, way too tight. Yeah. No, 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 it's the, um, the have you, the fuzzy pajamas. Oh. They're amazing. You would literally love them. Like, they're so good. I tried on the, like, shapewear oh wait and the dress <laughs> the, um you can see it's the viral viral skims dress just google that i bought that it i'm not gonna lie Is it good? it's like it makes viral your body stress yeah, yeah google, google the viral skims dress i have the the tank top one and it really does make your waist look small and your hips accentuate your waist like it's good it's good so but it's overpriced it's so like hips do lie Hips do lie. Okay. 100% they lie. Shakira. Yeah, they do. They do. Well, her hips don't that. lie. <laughs> Kim Kardashians do. Mm. But, like, people are so mean. I love the person saying, hey, congrats, Kim. Like, it's not Kim's fault. That's it. I have it in black. Um, I like it. No, it's cool. You can wear it to bed or out. It sounds weird, but yeah. If it's a good night, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no walk of shame in that dress. Mm. No, it's cute. Pride pride. Someone else in the class said, like, it was cool to hear her talk about this business with no cameras in the room and being oh. able to have a candid they totally told her there were cameras in the room. They probably did, right? They, <laughs> they said, yeah. Hidden. They're hidden. Uh, yeah. Uh, they must be hidden. <laughs> Listen, I don't care who you are. If you are in college and you have to sit through a two-hour lecture... Do you want it to be Schlesinger or do you want it to be Kim Kardashian? No, Kim, I think so it's a cool class where you're like, oh, God, I got to. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm interested in what she has to say. Yes. Whether it's entertaining to you because you're going to, like, shit on it later mm. or you're actually interested in, and curious what she has to say. Either way, it's, like, not a regular Tuesday. You would be right. a great college lecturer. Are you being serious right now? <laughs> That's really nice. Um, I, don't, I don't know. What would you lecture? I on? don't know. I'm not. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How to how to get yourself killed by? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I did. Uh, yeah. Boy, it's certain, you've given a lecture have, where? Yeah, wow. Yeah, at my, uh, I had an in. My brother. <laughs> uh, he went to Keene for a year before going to University of Maine. Not part. Wait, of Keene State mm -hmm. in my New yeah Hampshire. New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. yes, I know it. Uh, Did you lecture worst... her back in the day? No, I didn't go there. I didn't go. Oh, okay. One of our worst presents, by the way, <laughs> that's named after. Uh, but I went there and I was like, well, you know, what can I do to sort of like get their attention? And this was back when people would have the uh, what do you call them? The little push the the brain fart the stuff you put on and it's clear and then it goes on the screen yes sir. yes mm -hmm. See, it's good that i was a, a lecturer in a college that i even knew that <laughs> and so the one thing that i can draw very well is two pigs having sex oh uh, humping vigorously i'm just very good at drawing that and so i had all these things that how a masthead worked and stuff like that but then like every once in a while i'd have a picture of something like that i'd be like oh i don't know how that got there uh, like, that's that, actually yeah. cute <laughs> i remember the professor wasn't as as pleased as the uh um, as well. i like it if i learned anything from the office and michael scott specifically <laughs> is if you're going to give a lecture, you gotta throw out candy. <laughs> As we will be doing to your daughter afterwards. Yeah, you yeah. better, or else she's never gonna let me forget it. Well, we got the cookies. Snacks. Um, no, but you, because it would be funny. That's all they got. They, they, you are an, an enigmatic individual, and that's how they pay attention, particularly with the kids with their ADD today and their yeah. attention spans. Or No, it's good to hear from people who are actually doing it, and maybe not in the most traditional sense. I mean, you work for yourself. I think that's what it is. I think Joe just nailed it. I feel, I do feel like my, the way I go about things is different. And I kind of just stumbled. I, I studied communications in college, so I have a bit of a background. And I worked at a few news, uh, in a few news departments, I should say. But, like, not not as long as I've done internet marketing, which is how I met my husband, mm -hmm. had my kids, you know. So it is weird that all of a sudden. They're all I'm, under the same umbrella these days. Yeah. And in a big way. Yeah. And so, you know, theater degrees. And you that, too. You have a theater degree and work for a national cable news channel. That's amazing. Really? I think that's amazing. What? I do. Uh, I do. I don't. <sighs> oh, okay. Listen, okay, a lot fine. of people on Twitter didn't think it was uh, especially cool either. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about some fun Twitter DMs. Wait, really? Well, you know, when you... Yeah, yeah that's like, why I said you know what it's like. It's you like... You have no background. Why are you here? And I'm like, I don't know either. <laughs> 
<laughs> I couldn't tell you. Uh, when I you, agree with uh, you. It's crazy. When you replace the best. Uh, oh, that is that it? Territory. Mm, yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah. You're right. I did not draw enough pigs screwing. <laughs> I'll show you after the show. By the way, I can do it's it like so in two funny. Seconds. That's so funny. Pigs fucking in like two seconds. Two seconds, I can do it. Uh, <laughs> um, Good times, guys. Good times. Well, you've done it too, though, right? Because you've gone back uh, and spoken to like. Because you've got like a chair there or something at, at your old theater. Yeah, you've done it. No, I didn't go. I went back to host the 10th anniversary of this new fine arts department at my college. So I hosted an event of like performances. I also performed a scene in it. I but think I think that does count. No, yeah. but I didn't like talk about my experiences and that chair. You know, no one knows who I am anymore. So it was more depressing than anything. Oh I was wanting to go back and have these like seniors be like, oh my God, I've heard about you. <laughs> and no one knew who I was. And that's. That's a very human thing. That's their problem. It would have been great if you were just like, you flipped the script and you just talked about bidets the whole time. Just the magic, how it's changed your life. Fuck toilet paper. Mm. And like people are looking at their watches, hour four. You've got like graphs. You know what? Even if I gripped like one person in that audience, <laughs> if they were just riveted by my descriptions of bidets, then it would. You're right. It would have uh, been worth it. I'm pretty riveted. Uh, so you, oh, Bill, Bill. Bill. Okay. Okay. Well, is that his drawing? Uh, uh, like, let's see. And by the way, I'm a little bit out of practice here. <laughs> uh, well, now you guys got to talk amongst yourself. Oh wait, do you guys? Dead air. Do you guys want Paisley to come and say hi? Sure. Yeah. I don't. Can she see this picture though? Yeah, she can see no, the picture. she cannot. Oh, why? Is it that is it that lewd? She's looking right now, like on the screen. I see her looking. <laughs> oh, that is like this is a good a drawing. Pig with, I mean, protruding eyeballs. Oh, look at that grimace! <gasps> well, he's wow. Really good. Looks a little bit like a Ren and Stimpy drawing from. Remember that show? Yes, yeah, I do. He's pretty good, Bill. You know, You're like, like that show always made me uncomfortable. Same. Same. I I know. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know why. I think they were ugly. No, they, and they. Was why? It was nasty. Oh. Their vomit too also, was always so graphic. Yeah, like, and, like, wh and what was that friendship? <laughs> it was a weird friendship. I think I got the weird. Oh, Bill. Is it? Oh yeah, she won't know what that means. Wait, why is the one who's mounting like so much like smaller? Well, he's a predator, and a lot of times they're short. I think he. I think they're cute. Okay. All right. You can say really hi if you want. The, uh, Are their tails there? not curly when they're aroused? Oh, is I that was what that thinking, is? Yeah, no, they're not not curly, man. <laughs> Have you ever even opened a biology book? <laughs> and then we'll just do one of those for emphasis. Oh wow. There you go. You're multi-talented. Wow. My kids at Keene State learned from me and now, my course on journalism. I, here's wow. the issue, though. Uh, the little tail, the snout, but otherwise, that could be dogs. That could be any animal. <laughs> uh, it's clearly two pigs, and they're porking. See the play on words? Yeah, that was good. What I'm doing yeah. there? Mm. Not kosher. Thank you, Bobby, for making Thank him you. do it. It's there. You know, I've never shown a talent on this show, and this is the first right here. See? I think you do have many talents. That's really good. I can't draw for crap, so uh, well, I can't like at all. I, can draw. Oh. I can't draw anything else. Mm. Uh, but it's something. And yet it's it's a pretty elaborate drawing. So wait, Joe, when are you guys, are you discussing having kids, or do you want to wait, or what's your, like, Ooh. what do you... Um, not, to be, not to like put you on the spot on air or anything, no, no, no. but like, uh, <laughs> thank you. I'll give this to Paisley. Definitely, the the older we get, you know, there is a there is a click it, a, a click and talk, mm -hmm. a ticking the, clock, yeah. king clock. Okay, um, and so I think I, you know, we want to have a kid, a kid. I like how so, you said we. Well, and du well, Douglas was like, I think one might be enough. Okay, and. I, I will probably agree with him, although, I don't know, there is something nice about a sibling. And my mother said to us recently, like, the main reason to have a second child is to know that a lot of stuff isn't your fault. Because <laughs> if you just have the one child, I then you it. think, oh, they turned out this way because of me. But when you have two kids and you realize how different they can be, you That's realize- like, Mom is really oh, smart. That's a really good point. This. Are, wow. Do you think you'll be wanting a second kid when your asshole and your baby maker become one big hole? Listen, at that point <gasps> when there's one big hole, it'll make pushing the second time that, that much easier. It's actually true. true. The second time is very easy. I honestly yeah. did not. And like, yeah. again, it, uh, evolutionarily, it mm. doesn't make sense to me that birth is that awful. Like, how are we even still existing? 
right? It's, because it's, yeah. but I did not know about that fact. So it's very rare. Recently. It's, it's very rare that they become one and then you get a surgery. But what's not rare and like. Uh, I know this, what you're about to say. No, I mean, well, no, I, I'm not going to go into my hemorrhoid situation that I pushed out. Oh, that I'm fully aware of. Oh, but that I was thought you were talking about the husband stitch or what do they call it? Oh, the, oh yeah. the hus- That's stupid. Yeah. I'm like, no, just stitch me up for me because I feel like it's a gaping hole down there. After, after <laughs> your, so after you're done, I remember my first with her, they were like, oh, we're going to, after I gave birth, they're like, we're going to stick a catheter up there so you can pee. And I was like, please don't. I was like, it's gone through enough trauma right now. Please, nothing up. Yeah. And they still did it. They still did it. And I was like, my progress. So the second time, I was just, yeah, it was awful. So, and that whole time too, I remember, <laughs> not to be gross, but I, People need to like, know. hours later, I stood up, and, and my vagina felt fine. Everything was fine, but my butthole really hurt, and I was very confused. So I buzzed the nurse, and I was like, what is going on? And she comes in, and she brings me, like, an Epsom salt um, mini bath, and she said, you need to soak. And I said, why? And she said, you pushed out, like, you pushed so hard that you have, like, eight walnut-sized hemorrhoids. Like, like yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that's and she, very common. she said, if they don't go away within six weeks, you have to get surgery. And I was like, oh, lovely. So, luckily, they went away in two weeks. But you guys better believe I didn't take a dump for yeah. two weeks. Sorry oh to be real. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was. I awful. mean, that is just like, how? why do we, re- how do people, why are we still reproducing? I mean, uh-huh. this just sounds like a nightmare. Why do mm. we need to associate the size of hemorrhoids and nasty? things with food. Walnuts. Why yeah. do we have to call it walnuts I or grapefruit like or whatever the size? Why can't it be like quarters <laughs> or, I don't know, little toy trucks or something? Those things are delightful, too. Um, quarters? Edible? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, yeah, know. I don't have any kids. And I would say the other thing about having two kids is, like, my friends that do have one, that works for them, but they also said it is like like now that she's six and a half, we my husband and I can sleep in because she gets up with my son and they play together. Mm. And like if you don't have that, they really rely on you to play. And like I don't play, I do not get on the ground and play. I do not do the dolls. I do not do the cars. I will take I them anywhere. Him. I will do anything with them. They will come with me anywhere. Like they, you know. But I just cannot do it. I cannot I t- do it. You, I just read the Leah same. Remini's book. Mm. She was the same way. She yeah. was like. I did not enjoy playing Barbies with my daughter. Yeah. When she was young. Who would? I would try to pull the whole, Barbie wants to take a nap. That, that's exactly I would rather yeah. have walnut-sized yeah. hemorrhoids. There you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. Or my whole thing is, oh, my gosh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> I play for five minutes. I'm like, oh, that's, I hear the laundry. I'll be right back. It's, like, not fair. I just don't want to do it. Like, yeah. I can, and, like, you know some of the, you can tell. I mean, well, they always, the cliche is always, like, it's, like, marathons where mm. people will all of a sudden think, maybe I'll do another one because they forgot how awful the first one was over the expanse of time, mm-hmm. and they just think of the... And it's kind of the same thing with having kids. You forget yeah. the hell, you know? I and, mean, yeah. you must forget the pain of childbirth. Totally. Uh, they're, they're, yeah. 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 Totally. But you know what's crazy is I think what's more painful for me is not even thinking of childbirth. It's more about your first baby, like, just the way they scream and the way that you just, I just oh, remember yeah. not, my shoulders were up tense like this yeah. all the time. I just was not, I was very confused at like why they would just erupt in public. Oh. And I, then I would sweat and that's more what I get like chills PTSD. from. Yeah, that it's not so much childbirth. Like it's just about like not knowing, but it's like once you understand like babies cry, that's their job. Right. It's okay, you didn't do anything. Yeah. And that's what happens. Some cry more than others. It's literally not a big deal. And then they stop crying and it's fine. Mm-hmm. But, like, yeah. I think sometimes you're so postpartum and no one talks about postpartum. So if you can get all the vitamins you need, do everything you got to do and just have a good support system and, like, having people say, it's okay. They're going to scream and cry and yeah. you didn't do anything wrong. So like, I, I yeah. really think, and I've said this before, I'm going to say it till I get it. Uh, no baby showers with little gifts and trinkets for baby. Mm-hmm. Everyone, oh, all the mom. All the community mm-hmm. comes together mm-hmm. and they pool their money and they get you a wet nurse. For the first month. Yeah. That's great. That's our so doctor, much better. I think right? I think I listened to you on that because I've heard you say that before. And our own Dr. Z, Zara Siddiqui, uh-huh. uh, for her baby shower, uh, I got her a um, massage 
and a some sort of makeover thing that I've already forgotten, but it was a gift certificate. Mommy makeover, <laughs> yeah, whatever, yeah. It's not the same thing. Uh, no, this is. But it's still but, for the mom. But yes. No, no, yes, but what she's saying, and you are actually specifying a wet nurse. A wet nurse. You so want someone else's milk. Your home with you. No, 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 no. no. So don't say wet nurse. That's not. No, but Wait, you're talking about a damp t- healthcare worker. Today's wet nurse or damp nurse. It's called a baby where nurse. They will wake up with the baby, but just bring the baby to your breast. Yes. Like what you're sleeping, they just arrive with the crying baby to feed. So you don't have to get up. Gotcha. And like oh. so it's someone who's waking up with the that's baby not, and yeah, bringing that's them not a wet. No, you're totally, yeah, you can't say wet nurse. It sounds like you're having a wet nurse. No is, one does a wet nurse now. Okay, where well, you said baby. it. So I thought that's what I you meant. I think people like, do do that. Yeah. People oh, yeah. that can't breastfeed who are so psycho that they want their babies only to right. breast milk they get other people's milk that's what i thought you meant no i literally thought you meant that that oh i thought she did too but i think people do do that no they do but the baby nurse yes i do want that no the baby (laughs) nurse so wait and i'm not i'm not trying to like so i was a martyr with that one over there and then my second kid i got a baby nurse and i'm not i'm ashamed to tell you how long i had her for but it was whatever it is it wasn't it was, enough as far as I. it was the best thing she didn't live in our house like a toddler nurse no i mean so what we did and it was amazing because she would come at 7 p.m and she would leave at 7 a.m mm-hmm. every night and even like i would be like hey i'm gonna put my i think she's two i'm like put my two-year-old bed she doesn't even wake up are you cool if we go out she's like yeah i don't care so it was like it was amazing Absolutely it was amazing and she the only thing is like you don't get at first a month is nice but like your boobs really hurt and you still have to wake up multiple times to either feed pump or do whatever so you don't really get to sleep like the full like you think you're like resting but you're not you're still and they turn the nip nap patty wax into chewing you got it you got to get enough money to do it for two months i think that's and you have to book it like a year in advance okay. or the minute or, you get pregnant or, yeah. or wait for it i'm about to blow your mind don't have kids that is an option. It sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, I think so. It's not. It's so. fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's great. I like it. I don't know. <laughs> now you're recruiting for a cult. No. I, <laughs> now you're recruiting for a cult. No, but I do feel like I got too into this with you. I feel like we should take this offline. This was, I'm like yeah. trying to explain to you. I'm like, this well. Is, uh, yeah. <laughs> this has one of my been one of my favorites in a long time. Boy, we covered every type of emotion, scandal. I mean, no. I know. Uh, inner true. workings of... The, the, how the media cycle works, uh, actual cycling to make a kid, all the stuff. Um, this was great. We have something for her new for her bedroom. Um, yep. My dear, give us your plugs, your promotions, all the good stuff. Oh, I yeah, Lauren interviews. That's my podcast. It comes out on Wednesdays. You're not listening after <laughs> hearing all this. And, oh, and Joe, you'll be super excited to know uh, my next feature for Nikki Swift celeb is actually on 600 Pound Life. <gasps> Yeah, so um, that'll I I do write for a uh, entertainment website that is one and of my favorite shows. I mean I don't it really I really is one. But of I can't watch it when Douglas is home. You should be ashamed. Should like watch. I don't. Yeah, you shouldn't watch it. You period. Shouldn't watch it with anyone. You don't watch. No, it. but that's the thing. It's like I'm embarrassed that I watch it. So <laughs> you should watch it alone. Yeah. yeah.